Welcome back to the Google Classroom Tutorials. This video is going to talk about creating announcements and assignments and the difference between the two. Here I am logged in as a teacher in the stream tab of my demo class. The other options on the screen are the student tabs which show the students in my class and the about section which just tells a little bit more about the class. From the stream tab I am going to create an announcement. I do so by clicking on the announcement icon. I know I'm in announcement because it says post. My announcement is going to be to watch this lecture video. When you create an announcement, you have a choice to add an attachment. You can do so by uploading a file from your computer or dragging it onto your screen. You can also go to your Google Drive and add a document from there. You can also use a YouTube video and you can add an external link or you can just add nothing at all. I'm going to grab a YouTube video for this tutorial. The YouTube video is TPAC in 3 minutes. Now I'm going to grab the URL from YouTube, paste it right here, and then click on Add. Watch this lecture video on the TPAC model. I'm not asking them to really do anything in response, so they just need to watch the video. Therefore, it is an announcement. Now if I was going to have them do something with the video, I would want to create this as an assignment. If you're teaching multiple sections of the same class, you can assign this assignment to multiple sections at one time. If you click on the down arrow next to the name of the class, you can choose the classes you want to send the announcement to. After you have chosen your classes you want the announcement to go to, just click on post. That is how easy it is to create an announcement. Now this announcement automatically went out to all the students in my class, both by their email and in the Google Classroom layout. To add an assignment, click on Assignment. Basically, adding an assignment is the same as adding an announcement, except now you have a due date and the time you can add in. The default is always tomorrow, but as I showed you in video 2, you can easily change this. In the assignment, I'm going to ask them to read this document and comment. In my description, I'm just going to remind them of when it's due, and I'm just going to pick Friday at 11.59 p.m. Then I'm going to go to my Google Drive and grab the document I want them to read. Once I attach the Google Doc, I have a choice. Now I can have students just be able to view the file, but they will not be able to interact with the document at all. I could have every student have editing access to the same file, but again, then they'd be working in the same document, and they may be writing over top of each other. This is great if you want them to work as a whole class, but for days, today's purpose, I want them to work individually. The last option, make a copy for each student, makes a separate copy of the same file for every student. When they turn it back into me, I will have the same number of docs as students. Again, I can apply this to more than one class at a time by clicking the down arrow beside the class name. When I click Assign, it is now assigned that particular assignment to everyone in the class, as you can see here. When I post an announcement or assignment, I have these three dots on the right-hand side. That allows me to edit or delete these at any time. I can also add comments beneath the assignment. When students receive these, they also have access to add comments, which is helpful if students have questions that need to be clarified. The last part of this video deals with turning in assignments for students. If I look at my demo class, I see upcoming assignments which shows a link to the assignments I just created. I'm going to go into the demo class now and I can see on the left hand side there's an upcoming assignment and the link to that assignment. On the right hand side of the assignment, as a teacher I can see how many students have turned in this assignment and how many are yet to hand it in. When I click on this, it shows which students have and have not turned in the assignment and it allows me to grade it. Over here, it gives me the grade structure. It is limiting to your options and you can choose not to grade it as well. I can also click on one student and return the assignment. I can email them right from Classroom and I can also download the assignment if need be. This is a little bit about assignments and announcements within Classroom. This makes the workflow easier than G Class folders or Doctopus. Next we're going to look at Classroom from a student's view.